Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you. Tony, I remember the first movie, but it's still shocking when I hear these things coming out of your mouth. You, your character has a filthy mouth. Is that easy for you to do? Is it, do you embrace that? Well, I have to in this movie. Yes. I mean, that's not me in real life, right. but in this movie, I get a chance to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy it? Well, yeah, in this film. Yeah, I love it. Uh, when, when, when you guys heard there, were, there was a two, give me your initial thoughts about coming back. Oh, I think for both of us, I know myself at least, I was on board right away. And because we had heard so many things about a sequel possibly getting made through the years, probably like the last eight or nine years, you hear little whispers that it's, but then it just never pans out. So the fact that it was, they were going to do it and actually had a concrete script this time and everything seemed to be going, I was in it from the get-go. Uh, I would imagine like over the years, everyone has stopped you and talked about the original and the original. Oh yeah, everybody. People just love Bad Santa. Even when I go overseas, people say, Tony Cox, Tony Cox, Bad Santa, Bad Santa. I mean, people have been waiting for this film. And so I'm just glad they finally decided to do it. But even though it took 13 years, but sometimes time is better. Kind of amazing. I think everyone coming back is kind of a natural, except you, because it was like they could have done with, you know, as a kid and now you're an adult, but they, they got the original. Yeah. That was sweet. Well, it was just kind of even before we saw a script or anything, my thought was kind of like, what happened to Thurman? Did he, is he the same or is he has he somehow changed? And then we got it and realized nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing has changed with poor little Thurman. So the same dull little boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sparkle in his eye, though. I like his sparkle. Oh, yeah. When we, when we left you guys last, things weren't going well for this relationship. Right. Update us where we are now. Well, I got pinned with everything. Everything got pinned on me, so I spent time in the penitentiary. Uh, he testified against me, Willie, and so he got out before I did for testifying against me. So in the film, in the beginning, I'm trying to get him back because he hasn't worked since I left, and we need each other. We don't like each other, but we need each other. And so I'm trying to get him to come back. And... Um, I'm doing pretty good in getting him to come back because I know he like women and booze. So I, you know, like, put that on him. Marcus is really running the show, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Marcus runs the show. And I think that's what Willie doesn't like because I'm always telling him what to do. And I think you look at me with my three-foot-six statue, here I am talking to him, and he doesn't like to listen to anybody, but I'm on him. So it's like this little gnat, a little <laughs> flag. <laughs> yeah. I felt like this was really physical for both of you. You had to endure some cold, and you're like working it out, like yeah. through through, through the, uh, the the uh, shafts and all that. Yeah, yeah, it, it wore my knees out. I mean, the next day I I could barely stand. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That's the way I did it. And you're actually walking through the cold in shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, take. Shorter shorts you can find, t-shirt, go three sizes too small, and then stick us out in minus 37 degree weather is basically what we got for this shoot. But it was, uh, no, we had a good time doing it. If your biggest problem is being a little cold for a while, that's not too bad to deal with. And did I read right that you gained 50 pounds for this? Yeah. Put on 40 pounds in about three and a half, four months before we started shooting. And then another 15, like 10 to 15 while we we're in Montreal shooting. So it was about 50, 55 pounds by the end of it. I'm not a doctor, but that does not seem healthy. <laughs> no, yeah, the uh, doctors raised a few eyebrows to that one when I told them what I was doing. They, they weren't exactly the most supportive of it, but uh, it all worked out in the end. for watching this interview. As always, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. For the next Made in Hollywood interview, click right here. Do it. Click it. <laughs>